Imagine your child coming from school, walking over the streets and suddenly she faces one danger there and starts running in the opposite direction. And while running and running and running, she ends up on a random location and now there is no one to help her out and even she don't know her way to home. Well, this was one of the many such dangerous situations which any one of you watching this video may land upon, right? Well, in all those situations, we as an adult can easily escape out through our smartphone. We can, you know, search out on the maps or we can call a cab to escape from the situation. But what about kids who don't have smartphone with them or what about those people who are in such situations in which he or she can't access their smartphone? Well, our latest project called as SOS button will be really helpful in all those scenarios. So this is a button based on the A9G board which has built in GSM and GPS in it and by just pressing that single button it will immediately snap the GPS location and send it to your family member via SMS and after sending your location to them it will automatically make a call on that number in which he or she can listen to all the conversations happening around in that dangerous situations and can take quick actions. So this project can be helpful to you in multiple such emergency situations and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make this complete project from scratch. So before starting this video, if you are watching me for the very first time, well consider subscribing this channel as I used to come up with these kind of project tutorials in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. Well that being said, let us start our video about SOS emergency button. Coffee is other useful project here, so do watch the video till the end. Let's get started. Before starting the video, let me tell you one really interesting and useful feature of our sponsor LTM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as design review. Using LTM, you can add any member to your project and after that, they can highlight any fault in the schematic or can report availability of components in the inventory on the PCB to your designer so that they can visualize this component and can work upon it to provide a smooth flow of PCB production even if they both are in any corner of the world. So that's the design review feature and even you can try out this and many other features of LTM for free by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description as you'll be getting an access to free trial version using that link. Now let's start with our video. So for making this project, we'll be using the A9G board which is an amazing board that has built in GPS, GSM and battery charging circuit. A perfect board for battery powered IoT projects. Now this board works on the AT command firmware and to give the AT commands to this board, we need to have an external microcontroller board. So for this project, I'm using the Shao C3 board from Seed Studio which is the smallest ESP32 C3 based development board. And now to power both of them properly, we are using a battery and a voltage regulator IC. Now here we are also using a push button which will be acting as an SOS button and in the end we also used an on off button to power on and off the project. So in the end we need to make the connection between all those components according to this connection diagram. So now here we shouldered all the components on a general purpose PCB and also we shouldered the Shao C3 board on the back through its SMD pads to save the space. And now in the end our final hardware looks like this. So that was the hardware part of the project which was pretty straightforward. All the magic and logic are embedded inside the code itself. So let me take to my computer and let me explain the code for this project. So here's the code for our SOS button project quite similar to our previous project which was about audio spy. Okay, let's start with this code. So included Wi-Fi.h library for the ESP32 board. So now here I have declared two pins D3 and D2. So on D3 I have attached a push button called as the SOS button. On, on D2 pin I'm controlling the sleep mode of a 9G board which will be looking uh, in detail while you know explaining the code. After a couple of necessary variables and here is one important variable called as SOS number. Now here you need to specify the number with the country code on which you want to send the latitude along your data and also on which you want to make the call. So uh, make sure you edit this number according to your use case. Okay. After that I have put a uh, variable called as SOS time. Now this is also very important. So here what I did is uh, it's not like I can press the button and the latitude along longer will immediately be sent. Sometimes we may accidentally press the button. So I have put a time of five seconds. So if the button is press and hold for more than five seconds, then only the SOS you know, activity will be triggered and then it will capture the uh, location and send the location and make the call. You can change this number which is in seconds according to your use case. In my case, I thought five seconds would be a perfect uh, uh, no, timing. 
after that again couple of variables then moving on to the void setup part then we are turning off the wi-fi and bluetooth because there is no requirement of those radio uh what you can say modules here and with this we can save a lot of power as well declaring input output pretty common enabling the serial communication this one is for serial monitor and this one is uh, again for the a9g board i need to edit that so it's for the A9G, great. After that here I put the interval of 20 seconds because A9G do require a couple of you know seconds or time to you know properly configure it and make connection with the cellular network. So 20 seconds is good enough for it. After that we can you know turn off the sleep mode by you know making the sleep pin low and we can turn on the sleep mode by making the sleep pin high so whenever you want to provide the at commands make sure you turn off the sleep mode okay and that's what i did here so after turning off the sleep mode i you know uh, started giving some at commands so this is the basic command for checking purpose after that i am turning on the gps this time because hey we need to capture the data and we are letting the gps to be stayed on so that whenever the sos button is pressed we can immediately get the latitude and longitude so we don't need to wait for satellite connection after that here i have enabled the GPS low power so in this low power mode too it will consume less power which I have discussed in my getting started video with the A9G board you can watch it out so basically this is used for saving power even if the GPS is turned on okay and after that we are making the sleep mode as one again we are configuring the sleep mode of the A9G board to save power okay so I tried to you know save power as much as possible in GPS as well in the cellular network as well and also in the Xiaoxi 3 board because it is battery powered of course we need to save the power moving on to the loop part and loop part is pretty straightforward okay here what we are doing is here first of all we are checking what our response we are getting if someone is ringing like someone is making the call on our A9G board it will automatically receive the call so the previous feature of audio spying is still uh, you know exist in this particular version as well so anyone you make the call it will automatically receive by the a9g board this is uh, written here inside the else if condition okay and this too if conditions are just for the debug purpose if we are getting okay response from the a9g we say it works and if we are getting error response we say it doesn't work okay and this condition triggers whenever someone disconnects the call okay now moving ahead how we are sending the in uh, location data and how we are making the call let us have a look so here we are reading the sos button okay so once the sos button is pressed we are you know running a loop of five seconds okay which is mentioned here so it will be running a loop of uh interval of one second for the five times which is mentioned here it is five second okay and after five second again if the button is pressed then only we will be you know triggering the sos conditions in case the button is released before five seconds we are just breaking out of this loop and it will do nothing at all so let's assume the button is pressed for more than five seconds so it will come inside this if condition we are first of all you know turning off the sleep mode because we need to provide some at commands turning off sleep mode after that what we are doing is we are giving the command as at plus location is equal to 2 which uh, which will give us the response in latitude and longitude data okay after that we are reading all the data and we are printing the response in the serial monitor after that now there are two chances whether we will receive the gps location or we don't receive the gps locations so whenever the a9g board is somewhere indoors maybe in the basement maybe in the room maybe in the house maybe in the office so in the closed environment situations the gps generally don't respond gps data is only available when we are in open ground or we are on the road we are on the street we are in the garden so in this scenarios where it is clearly visible to the sky the uh, gps model works perfectly so i have put a two condition if the gps data is not received we are just printing as a no location data received and in case the gps location data is received what we are doing is we are creating a google maps link now we can create this kind of google maps link which has the longitude and latitude data in the link itself so whenever this link is set we can directly click on that link and it will automatically point the location on the google maps which is way more convenient rather than just sending the latitude and longitude values okay so here i have created the gps or we can say google maps link along with the latitude and longitude data which i received from the a9g board and after that i am sending the sms to the sos number which we have you know mentioned above which is here so the message will be sent in the format like i am here and the google maps link will be forwarded after that we are immediately calling on to that number so that the person can not only get our location but con can also listen to what conversations are happening around in that dangerous or emergency situation so he can you know properly react to the situation and properly take action in that situation so i have provided that feature as well as soon as the data is sent sms is sent make a call on that number okay
And as there is a mic built in the A9G model, the other person can easily listen to the conversation. And this is all about the code part. Okay. Now, one important thing, whenever you want to send the message, you need to send this character 26 and then only the message will be sent. Otherwise, the message won't be sent. This is a very important line while sending SMS using A9G board. And yeah, that was all about the code. So now I'll directly upload this code onto the A9G board. And after that, let us test this project out. So now, first of all, I'll insert the SIM card onto the A9G board. Now here I'm using the VI SIM card, but you can use the SIM card from any network operator that provides a 2G connectivity. Once again, Geo SIMs won't work here. So after that, I'll insert the A9G board onto the PCB. I'll turn on the switch. And after that, I'll press and hold the power button onto the A9G board to power it up. So now we are completely ready to test this project. So let's first test this project inside a room where there are no GPS signal at all. And let's see how it responds in this situation. So I'll press and hold this SOS button for more than five seconds. And now we can expect the call on the number very soon. Okay, so as you can see, we got the call from this A9G board and we can receive this call and we can hear all the conversations happening around this A9G board. So in this situation, we didn't get any SMS because the GPS model was not able to connect to the satellite and get the location data. Okay, so now let's just take this board in the terrace and test it in the open environment. Okay, so here I'll again press and hold this button for more than five seconds. And as you can see, we got the call from the number and also we received an SMS as well. So in the SMS, as you can see, it says I am here along with the Google Maps link. And if I click on that link, as you can see, it is showing me the location around my studio. So this is how we can immediately get the location of that person. And not only that, we can also receive a call from that number so that we can, you know, listen to the, all the emergency situation conversations and take the actions accordingly. Well, that was my project about SOS, but and how was this project according to you and well i'm thinking of to make some changes in this particular project and you know make a dedicated custom pcb for it and this i will be doing it for my gps tracker project so yes one more project remaining with this particular a9g and the shao c3 board which is to make a gps tracker and that tracker will have all those features like sos button and also audio spying so three in one or multi-purpose tracker project is coming on our way on this particular channel so do subscribe this channel right now if you don't want to miss that upcoming project and yeah do click the like button if you really love this project and let me know in the comments about how was this project according to you or do you have any suggestion to make this project way better and way more useful but do let me know your suggestion down in the comments of the video and that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video explore learn share with me, Techie SMS.